So today we're going to look on types of triangles. But before we look on types of triangles, we have to just look at what is a triangle. A triangle, basically, try. This means a tree. So basically, it has three sides. What's my marker? See? Three sides. One, two, three. And it has three angles. So for example, this was 30, and this would be 60. So, all triangles. This is basically a right angle triangle. So we'll look at the types of triangles first. And why is this called a right angle triangle? It's because what? Because one angle is equal to 90 degrees. So see? Alright, next we have what we call what? Tell me if I know that one here. What this means, both of these sides, the length of this and the length of this are very good, are equal. And also the angles. So this is called an isosceles. Alright, which other triangle we have? Scalene, very good. So the scalene. The scaling is kind of weird because no side is equal, no angle is equal. So that's. So, so for example, this was 70, this was 30, and this was 80. So the scaling, no angles and no sides are equal. Alright, I'm going to make space for one more, which is the. Equilateral. Equilateral, yeah. <laughs> and all sides, as, as it means, suggests. All sides are equal, so that means all angles are equal. So all of them are 60. And, and what's important to know, every triangle, for every triangle, the sum... Hmm? Yeah, right in here. Oh, sorry. Let's put triangle at the end, right? Right angle triangle. Oh, this is a scale here. So each each type is different. Let's just, just put with this. Let's just call this 50. So if anything this is with, this is the same. So the base angles are equal. So every triangle of a liquid. We just know. A liquid different thing about them. So the equilateral, all sides equal, all angles equal. And isosceles, only the base angles are equal. And the length. See? And then now with the right angle, one is equal to 90 degrees. But well, you know, a right angle can also be um, an isosceles. So say we have. So you can be two in a one. Look. The other day I was doing class with someone and then I realized that. So say this was 9. This is 90, right? What if this was 45? This would also be 45. And the next thing, what we're what, what actually doing the angles today, you know? The angles we focus on. But however, we have to know of the differentiate then. So, if you notice, if we add all these three, three angles that we are given, if you notice closely, the total would sum up to 180 degrees, right? You realize? Yeah. So, all, all triangles, no matter which type, the sum of the interior angles, or when you add up the inside angles, we will get 180 degrees. So, let me just write that. The sum of the interior equal 180 degrees so it doesn't matter what type of triangle is this this is common to all triangles when you add the interior angles you get 180 degrees let's look at this one 70 plus 30 plus 80 is equal to 180 degrees similarly this is 90 so 90 plus 60 plus 30 equal 180 degrees and similar to this 90 plus 45 plus 45 equal 180 degrees. So these are, and this also, 50 plus 50 plus 80 equal 180 degrees. And this now is 60 plus 60 plus 60. So 180 degrees. So 180 degrees is common to all triangles, the sum of their interior angles. So when you add up all the angles, you must get 180 degrees.
so that's very important so now we can look at the angles let's just focus on the right angle first we're gonna do them one way that's cool all right As you see, the right angle, one angle is equal to 90 degrees. Let us see, this one was 65 degrees. And it asks us to find the third angle. How could we find the third angle? We have one critical information, right? We know that when we add this, this, and this, we must get 180 degrees. So we just say, alright? So how in maths always write what you know. We know that x plus this is known as what? 90. 90. Very good. So we just add 90. And we know that the total must be 180 degrees. Now we can just add this. So x 65 plus 90 plus 5, 6, 7. Yeah. yeah. We could do that also because these are complementary. So we could just say, because we already know this is 90. So this plus this is equal to 90. So you are indeed correct. We could have just said x plus 65 equal 90. Very good. And then we just subtract 65, 5 from that, 6 from 8, 25. We could have also done it like this. So x is equal to 180 minus 155. So x is equal to 25 degrees. Very good. Let us look at, say we have an isosceles, and we are given an angle, or we can go, can go. Let us look at How could we find this one? We are given this angle to be 120. This is x and that is x. How could we do it? Always write what we know, what we know, right? We know that x plus x plus 120 is equal to what? 180 degrees because all triangles, doesn't matter the type, is sum up to 180 degrees. So x plus x will be 2x. See? Then we can just say 2x. Minus 120, so there's minus 120 from both sides. 2x, that will give us what? 60. So 2x is equal to 60. But we are not finished because this plus this is equal to 60. So we have to find it for 1, right? So we just divide by 2. So x is equal to 30. And then we can check if it's correct. Yeah. 20 and 30, 60, so that means it's the 30 plus 30, right? Because they are both equal. And I remember that is the definition for an isosceles triangle. The base angles are equal. And the length, see here? This little stroke indicates that they are equal. Alright, let us look at the equilateral. And as it suggests, are different why not tell her x and they will literally do that right so they will indicate that the lengths are equal so what we know how can we solve this and we don't have any numbers what we know we know that y plus y plus y is equal to what very good 180 degrees that's common for all so this will give us 3y is equal to 180 degrees then we divide by 3, so therefore y is 60 degrees. And this is the definition of an equilateral. All angles equal to 60 degrees. So we look at that. So next we need to look at the scaling 
and see how we can solve. These are very, very simple, but they are very, very relevant, especially when you're doing circuit theorem and all of that. We'll come right back. All right, so let's just look at the scale very quick. And then I'm going to give you an activity to find the missing one. So, scale you. What's the definition of scale you? No angle is not equal, no size is not equal, right? So let us say this was 40, this was 60, and it asks us to find z, the value of z, or the value of the, this angle. How could we approach that? Yeah, um, I'm listening. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so 60 plus 40 plus z is equal to 180. Always write what we know first and then we examine, right? So this will give us 100 plus z. So therefore, we take away this 100, as you were saying. So therefore, z is equal to 80 degrees. Because remember, when you add all three, we must get 180 degrees. Alright, great job. So let us give you an activity now and then we can discuss this and the answer, alright? I'm just going to use this sign. Just imagine so that I want to read right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to read right now. Get on your right, we're well, not changing numbers. And I could do this right now. So one of each, so we have the right angle sign. And then we're going to look at some more complex ones. We have the, the shapes. Right? Everybody's favorite is scaling. Scaling is like a weird person, you know? I keep my company, I keep my friend. Alright, so complete this and then we can discuss this and your findings, alright? So you're gonna find the missing angle. 